Hello guys, welcome to online web tutor presented by Profotech Solutions team. I am Sanjay. We are learning WordPress custom post tutorial for beginners and this is our part 2. In this video session guys, we will see that what and how can we use custom post type labels. And also guys, if you are a beginner to this channel then please don't forget to subscribe and keep watching our part 1 of this video session to get the clear vision about this playlist. So in our last video session guys, we had discussed or made some of our execution plans for this playlist. And also we had seen that what is a custom post type, what are the different default WordPress provides post types and also we had registered a simple post type without any labels that is book section. Okay, so first of all we are going to remove this post type and now we are going to register another or means post type with some labels. Okay, so first of all we have to remove this. This section actually we had added in our previous video session. Okay, so just back to folder and now this is the folder that actually we are running okay so just go to WP content themes 2017 I think we have attached into functions.php file okay so just I'm going to remove from functions.php file okay here it is so just get rid of that if I remove from here and now if I refresh this page and now the book section has gone so let's register another post type by the help of a plugin okay we are going to make a plugin inside our WP post okay inside our WP content theme plugins folder inside this plugins folder we will create our plugin and now by the help of that plugin actually we can create our own custom post type with some labels values okay so just back to editor and now inside this folder let's make a folder called WP custom post type Okay, this is the plugin folder that we have created and now inside this folder let's create a file called WP custom post type dot PHP okay this is the main plugin file that we have created now next we have to define some of the information for our plugin so that the WordPress can understand that we have created a plugin okay so first of all get rid of all these comments and now I will put some of the plugin basic comments that is plugin name that is WP custom post type description version and author okay so if I save this file go to administrator panel just refresh this page go to plugin section and now inside that plugin section actually we will got something like WP custom post type this is came from these informations that we have registered okay so now what we want from this plugin we want that we will make a custom post type with some label values and now while activating this plugin while activating this plugin we want to create our custom post type okay so to register custom post type guys we know about the function called register post type okay so by the help of this function WordPress function we can create our own custom post type okay so just scroll down this is the example that we have to copy or we have copied in our previous video in our video session also where we have created the book section okay so if I copy it again go to our editor and let's paste it here okay so let's say that about our custom post type we are going to register called movies okay let's say movies and it should be movie okay so now let's change some of the prefix WPL let's say custom post type and just get rid of that let's say register movie okay so this is the function that we have made and now we we need to hook this function with this init action hook okay successfully we have created so now if I save this file go to administrator panel and now refresh this page once we refresh just click on activate button plugin activated successfully as we can see the message and now this is the movie section that actually we have registered with our own custom post type okay so if I click on this and now as we can see that add new okay and now if I go add new post if I go movies if I create any movie something called movie 1 okay just click on publish button and now as we can see if you click on movie section and these all sections are appeared automatically okay but now what are labels in custom post type let's open the pages section just open in new tab open in new tab if I go to pages section just see something like that 
this is the pages this is also a WordPress default post type okay so here as we can see that this is the label called search pages not post because this section is called pages okay and now if you go to the post section here as we can see that search post this is the post type here we have written okay if I click on add new it is called add new post if I click on here it is add new page so these labels actually changing by the help of this post type okay so we want that when we click on this movie section movie section we want that search movies instead of search post okay if I click on add new here we want something called add new movie and also if you go to the pages section just I'm clicking on any of this book to edit ink now in this edit link we can see that edit page this is also changing according to post type if I go to post section again click on all post click on edit and now here as we can see that edit post okay but if I go to book section sorry movie section just click on edit button and now after clicking we can see that edit post instead of edit movie okay so we need to change all these labels according to our post type okay so how can we do that just go to official website and now if I scroll down then WordPress provides all the basic informations about the label section deep from its developers website called codex.wordpress.org slash function reference slash register post type okay so what we have to do we have to just make copy of all these things so just let's copy go to editor and now let's remove all these things once more and paste it here okay so if I paste it and now after pasting this code we have to change some new settings something called let's say WPL OWT its custom post type and let's say register movie okay so just remove this function name just make copy of this function name paste it here let's remove all these comments first and also let's rename this instead of this book type instead this is movie type okay so we have also successfully changed but now also we have to change about the labels that is these actually labels provided by WordPress of books okay so we have to change all these things so why not we can actually search and replace all these things okay so just type I'm typing for NetBeans that is control H to find and replace so we need to replace book just book copy book paste it here and now I am replacing with called movie okay so just I'm clicking on replace all so successfully we can replace we have replaced actually all the books instead of all with movie okay so if I save this file and also just get rid of all these extra parameters actually the WordPress provides this is tax domain okay so we are not providing any tax domain for now so if I remove that so just get rid of all these extra parameters So successfully we have removed all the extra parameters from this function okay and now also we can remove from description as well so we want to change this is underscore x function to double underscore okay so just change that double underscore function it's double underscore and double underscore okay so all these things we have set up for now okay so if I save this file go to our browser administrator panel and just I am going to refresh this page now we can find about our custom post type with new settings called labels okay as we can see that edit movie instead of edit post also if I click on all movies this is movies click on add new and now add new movie instead of add new post okay so if I go to all movie section and as we can see that on the search box bar it is search movies okay so if I click something like that and now as we can see that search box is working as well and also we have to change these labels like no books found okay so if I go to our plugin and now this is no books found instead let's say no movies found okay and also we have to remove let's say no movies found okay so if I save this file refresh this page and now as we can see that no movies found okay if I just get rid of all these contents search again and this is our movie so if I click on edit button 
and now this is called edit movie so all the labels of our default custom post have actually we have changed with a proper message okay so if i go to our editor and now as we can see that several settings actually wordpress has provided these are called the labels messages okay and now what are the function actually our default custom post type that is user defined custom post size supports if i just scroll down and now as we can see that this is the description section on all the parameters you can actually study about all these parameters right from this documentation if i go up WordPress has provided well defined about the structure and the arguments parameters about in great detail okay you can study about the label section as well from here okay so now what actually parameters what actually supports our movie custom post type supports so basically inside this supports key we have passed some of the parameters inside this array called title editor author thumbnail excerpt and the comments these are called the supports for this movie custom post type okay so if i go to administrator panel and now we can see that this is the title section this is the editor section where actually we can provide some of the description for this movie okay this is called the featured image which is thumbnail this is called excerpt this is called the author and the discussions okay so these all actually settings we have provided from our back end section okay so if i sup suppose we remove like excerpt and comments just reload this page and now if i scroll down then as we can see it all actually has removed from this administrator panel also just back to editor if suppose we remove called thumbnail okay just remove that refresh this page and now as we can see that the thumbnail image also has been gone okay so basically guys we can provide all the supports of our custom post type inside this supports key okay so let's make i am undo all these things thumbnail excerpt okay so if i refresh again so all the parameters actually we have now put so successfully guys by this by the help of this video session we actually seen about the label section of our custom post type and now if i go to editor these are the things that you have to keep in your mind while creating any custom post type that is while registering any custom post type we need to know that how can we actually provide the meaningful or proper messages to the user that convey a accurate message okay about the movie section label something called add new movie edit movie movie not found search movie something like that okay so by the help of all these parameters actually we actually defined all these parameters inside this labels variable okay which is which is a type of array and this label variable actually we have passed right here okay and now after binding all these parameters inside this argument we have to pass this argument variable inside our register post type which is taken as a second parameter okay so while registering the movie type the wordpress sets all these parameters actually we have set inside this variable to this post type so successfully guys we actually completed about the label section of our custom post type okay so if you have any query in this video session guys then please drop your comment i will give my reply as soon as possible so for this video session guys thank you for watching have a great day